This is a demonstration that is meant to show that rigid surfaces like a tabletop or a wall or a floor are somewhat compressible um, like this model. Even though they're rigid, they do have some flexibility to them and that'll be demonstrated here. So the apparatus for this um, consists of a laser pointer that is directed down at a mirror and this mirror is connected to a pin that can roll underneath a rod that is connected to the wall. So the idea would be that if this rod moves back and forth at all, the mirror will rotate and we should be able to pick that up with the laser pointer. Um, so I'll go ahead and turn on the laser pointer and you'll notice that it is bouncing off the mirror and it can be seen up on the ceiling as a red dot. So I've changed my camera angle slightly and turned off some lights so that you can see simultaneously the apparatus on the left and the position of the laser pointer on the ceiling. So let me come around and show you where you want to look for this demonstration. So this shows the position of the laser pointer on the ceiling, and you might have seen it um, kind of vibrate a little bit as I walked, and that's because it's so sensitive to movement. And I'm going to come around here and give the wall a push, and you should see the laser pointer move. And that's because the wall is flexing like a spring. It's not visible except by the way that the mirror is rotating and changing the location of the laser pointer light on the ceiling. You can clearly see that when I push it moves and when I stop pushing it moves back. And any rigid so surface will do that to some degree. Even though it seems fixed, it gets compressed somewhat just like a spring would become compressed and it returns to that position when it is no longer pushed.